I've set the bar so high for myself this year. When it comes to athletics, I've never set the bar this high. Not even close. I want it, and I want it bad. I want to succeed for the individuals that I play for. I want to succeed for myself and my family. I want it. Well, I'm stepping out of the office for a little bit to get some field work in, focusing on fairway shots tonight, and I am pumped. I'm excited. Practices right now are they're going really well. It's it's kind of, uh, you know, it's like working out. You hit a plateau, and you just have to battle through that. And you might have um, areas where you even fall back for a while, but all of a sudden you, you see a, a jump forward in your, in your progression. And I just feel that I'm starting to see that. I am, I am beyond excited. This has me, um, this has me driven to practice even harder. I really feel if I keep this up, I'll see the results that I'm looking for in a couple of months. Sorry. Sorry. Well, uh, that was that was disappointing. You know, I, I don't know. I get myself so worked up, so excited about things. Uh, you see a glimmer of hope, and uh, then it falls apart in front of you uh, it it was that practice was far from what my expectations were I um, I want another shot at that at that area tomorrow I will be back there tomorrow round two you know when you don't perform up to your expectations, do what you know you can do, it's disappointing, as everybody knows. I've got so much I've got to work on in so little time. Well, it's a new day, or I guess I should say a new night. It's time to put yesterday's fairway practice behind me, and uh, Focus on redemption. It's time for another shot. It's time to get after it. Now that was a much better practice. Um, still not really where I wanted to be uh, as far as my lines go, 
but definitely much better. I was making shots that uh, really struggled on yesterday. And that's, that's how the sport goes. You'll have your good weeks, then you'll have a couple off days. And I've been having some pretty solid practices for the most part. Um, yesterday I felt was a fall off day. Now tonight wasn't perfect. No practice is ever perfect, but tonight still didn't uh, meet my expectations. But it was closer to where I was at in my fairway practices last week. Now typically I have three, uh, three fairway practices a week, two driving practices a week, um, and putting practices five days a week. I also throw accessory practices in at least once every week or two. You know, those are shots that I don't use a lot, being that I'm an ambidextrous player, but there's still shots I practice. If there's a, sh a shot in disc golf, I try to practice it, knowing that I can at least somewhat pull any shot in the game off. Um, it may not as be it may not be as big as far as accurate, but I at least have it in my repertoire. So. This is my least favorite part about getting ready for the season and staying in shape during the season. It's almost midnight. But I tell you what. I can hike up the mountain and still focus in for a putt. It's Friday, December 5th, early in the morning. Just trying to get my putting work in today. I'm not going too far out in distance, I'm just focused on about 15 feet today. Um, max 20. Today's putting practice is all about the disc getting out of the hands. Nice and straight. You know, if, if I can't keep the disc straight at 15 feet, when I move out to 25 feet, 35 feet, and beyond, the disc will just deviate further off the path that I want it to be. So, today is all about lines and the way the disc gets out of my hands. I'm not doing, I'm not going to any other rooms and putting back into here. I'm not uh, doing any putts from the knees or anything. Today's putt is purely fundamentals. 15 feet is an area that uh, I get really nervous at. You get in a tournament and you look and you're thinking, oh, you know, when you're at 35 feet, I don't expect to make those all the time. Maybe a few out of 10, if, if even that. This is the distance you get up and you expect to make 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is your par save distance, your birdie distance um, on short, on short uh, tee offs. Uh, this, is the, this is the distance that that can put you into a, into a higher place in a tournament, making these putts. And I hate to admit it, I've uh, missed more of these when I wanted, so this is a really important distance to work on. Well, um, here I am. Uh, it's time. This is fairway practice, uh, I think four on the week. Normally just three, but um, I'm putting myself through a challenge. All difficult fairway work, fairway work all week this week. Right hand versus left hand. Um, no gimmies. So um, <clears throat> this is my champ. It's a chance. It's gotten a little bit better every day. Hopefully today... Um, Today will be the best one of them all. I know it will be. That practice was a win. I've been looking for that all week long. 
and uh, I finally got it. Great way to uh, uh, finish off my fairway practicing for the week. A driving practice this afternoon, uh, cardio and, and uh, explosive workouts tonight, um, and uh, maybe a little more putting, but uh, hey, I'm pretty happy. It's the lunch hour, it's driving practice, it's time to let it fly. Well, that, um, that was an okay driving practice. Far from the best one I've ever had, but it wasn't the worst. You know, the neat thing about practicing at Hoyt Sherman in Des Moines is uh, there's that nice little gap that you have to hit. If I don't throw a good, accurate drive on the right trajectory, um, then I catch the hill or I, I catch the little ninja branches that come off of those trees. So that makes it a great place to practice. If um, from where I'm throwing, it requires the perfect trajectory for, for distance. Um, I'm, you know, it's a sheer distance training is all that was. And, but that forced me to keep the disc extremely straight. It does not have, you don't have much room for air. That's about a, oh, I'd say a 20, a 20 foot gap. Um, if I can hit that, on majority of my drives, then I'm in good shape when it comes to playing on a majority of the disc golf courses in the world, around the world. Um, and now, of course, you have your tight courses, but this just makes me better. If I can keep it accurate and straight at max power, then I be, I'm able to scale back and, um, and keep, my, keep my throws accurate. All driving practice to me is distance knowledge, knowing how far I can throw it. So if I think I can attack something, I know whether or not I, if I've got it or not, or if I just need to throw a good shot to set myself up for a, a little chip shot into the green. Main problem I had in that practice was a little bit of, of oat or off axis tilt. It's what happens if you try to throw it too hard and you turn it a little bit. So I was just over, over cranking, but I was able to, to fix that. And, um, so I'm happy. I'm happy. My distance was, was good. Um, accuracy was good. Uh, there's still plenty of room to improve. And that excites me.